Hello, this is Titans Beats, and today I'm doing mission 4 for the Halo 1 Rubies Rebalance No Death Legendary playthrough. I got the score on the Legendary, oh, it's, um, the Legendary, the Iron Skull, and the Grunt Birthday Party. This mission's normally quite an easy one, but with the hunters being a little bit more stronger, it's going to be a bit more, I guess, more tough. I, I definitely find the hunters tough. Oh my god, the uh, mission um, assault on the control room is going to be pretty the tough because there's a lot of uh, the silent cartographer there's like a lot of um, hunters the on that mission. There's around 18 of them, I think. Us to Halo's control center. Nine the group has two. multiple structures and installations. One of them contains the map room. So because the marines don't stumble back when they get shot, and their ARs just being a lot more all in all there at like shooting, you're going to be a lot of help in this mission. I don't know actually how much shots it does take um, to kill a hunter in Legendary on this uh, version of like, the Ruby. You just made the hunters way stronger. Oh, rip him. He's dead. He goes behind cover, rip. I ran out of bullets for that player's pistol. If I lost all my marines at this point, like normally you can on legendary, you can, you can lose them pretty easy, but if they're just being all in all way better than AI and stuff. See how that assault rifle can hurt you, like friendly fire. So I think I saved like four marines. I'm pretty sure in the base game on Legendary you only get like five or six marines, I think. It's so, like as the difficulty is lower, the more marines you get normally. Move out. At least they're Let's sort of the somewhere down the line pretty the tough, not like, um, sort of way too weak and all that. But apparently the Warhog's just a lot better. I think for sp the splattering enemy part, it's, it's like not as good as normal. I think it still kills grunts all the time, but like, it's just not as good as it normally is in Halo 1. Which is sort of sad, I wish they didn't change that because that's sort of dumb. It made the game a bit more better. Without, <laughs> like. Oh, just being able to, like, splatter hunters and stuff. Red elites in this is so tough. He's running around. I could do. Let's go, um. Jump out the vehicle, let the gunner shoot at the elite, and I'll go rush the elite at the same time. So now there's not any, uh. There's no hunters at this point, but. There is when you come back here the second time. Yeah. 
I just know this is going to be a lot more tougher because of like the range that the enemies now shoot. Unlike normal Halo 1, they don't they wouldn't shoot you as much as they're doing now. Jesus, there's a lot of elites. I'm gonna risk throwing a grenade over there. See what I can get. Holy, so many. I don't know if I got that elite or not. Must not have. Oh my god, there's so much damage. Well, not this time. They look very painful. Real fight. The cartographer must when be it started here. to actually explode. My analysis indicates that the map room should be at the bottom floor of this facility. Oh god, let's keep damage. going inside. Don't let them knock Okay, the there's no elite here. There's a bunch of ultra grenades that love throwing grenades. I, I mean, ultra grunts, not grenades. There's a lot of them in this, um, like, mod, in, like, other levels. Like, normally you only get Ultra Grunts in level 9 and 10, I believe. It might not even be level 9 normally. I just think level, uh, level 9, I think, at the end. But normally it's only in, like, the mission and wall. Near the start, like, you don't really fight much Ultra stuff. And you fight those, like, sort of elites and, um... To the start of level 10 and the end of level 9 where they love, love to throw grenades. You can actually like go, you don't actually have to go there straight away, you could go to the other area first and then come to that and then like you do the second part but if you don't do that, um, like if you just go to this other place and then go to, this, go to the, the area that I just went. It will despawn all those other enemies that were there at the start, I'm pretty sure, and you'll just have to have deal with hunters, which is pretty cool because then you can you don't have to risk yourself too much. We need to find the security override to get this door open. This next part can be pretty tough at times. Normally I like to uh run a bunch over, but I don't know how how well that's gonna go for me because of the ladder thing. Oh god. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? It's a bad idea. Hmm. I know plasma pistols are pretty strong against uh, jackals on this. But again, the, the cost is strong, they've all got plasma pistols, which is a big problem for me. And because they took away the splatter damage. Look how far? They shoot like a machine gun. Like, I don't even think I can shoot it fast. Without it overheating. Jesus. I lost the bar of health by doing that. That grenade though screwed me over big time.
I could go back and grab some more marines. Would be an option. Oh. Maybe that's the key. Ooh. This actually kills them. Well, sometimes. Is there actually any elites here? I know there's the ultra grunts that are... Oh yeah, there's definitely elites. Rip, I know there's some pistol bullets over here. We a med pack, awesome. Smart. Hmm, I might consider bringing like a different gun to the hunters. Cause the pistol's very bad in Halo 1. Four out of mod. As in like, in the hunters, it's not the best. It's gonna be a chain reaction. Big one. They're very smart, uh, the elites on this. Oh god. There's so many grenades just lying around everywhere. I might consider just going to the needler for the hunters and see how fast it actually takes them out. Because it actually, it will explode on impact. Oh god. And yep, I killed a hunter just then, so... A needler's probably the best way to go right now. In this mod. Because it gives you the ability of... Um... Like, sticking needles into them. If only you could pick up the hunter cannon, like, that'd be very cool. Alright, that plasma pistol is so strong, it just took down my whole overshield. Like, I guess a plasma pistol doesn't matter how big your shield is, the EMP blast will kill, um, will always take it away. Jackals are very tough in this because they do use their EMP blast pretty, like, recently, and they, I mean, commonly, I guess. I wish I could pull it off by killing these jackals and then sort of just dealing with the elites. They're gonna EMP me as soon as I'm not looking or not. I either gotta deal with one or the other. 
the elite or the, or the jackals and kill the other. I'm a hundred percent that I hurt that elite. I should be able to kill some jackals hopefully like this. I think. Jesus, the creep. Normally it's just grunts around here, like no elites or anything, but could be changed. There is some changed encounters on two betrayals, but again, it doesn't exactly make it easier. It makes it probably harder. Like, it sort of makes it easier, but then like other sort of parts that I used to do and how to do them, I, it's like not really an option because you don't get the guns and stuff, like rock launchers and that. Alright, so this is going to be pretty tough. I'm going to consider using Needler, because it's going to be my best hope against these hunters. And then the way out, well, I don't know what's going to really happen there. Okay, that hurt a lot. <clears throat> On the way, I got a um, over shield, which is awesome. I might go risk uh, punching the hunter. Rip. They're so tough without a needler. Like, just so tough. It's gonna be very tough because I've only got like the tiniest bullets in my pistol, and I'm gonna need quite a lot. Of, I, I would have needed a lot of pistol bullets to sort of deal with all the invisible elites that are gonna be coming. Use the hollow panel to shut down the security system. I'll skip this cutscene because I'm not really in. Rip, Good. I can't. That should open the door that leads into the main shaft. You could try and run past the hunters, but then you're going to have to deal with them now, and it's going to not be a good idea. New graphics is a little bit easier to see them, because you can see their guns. But the player's the pistol does take them out very fast, so I guess not really in such a bad sort of spot. 
just using the player's pistol. But the pistol one shots them, which is even better. Chief, Bravo 22 was bringing us some heavy weapons. After I saw we were up against hunters, I thought you could use them. Let's move down the beach. Keep an eye out for any cargo we can salvage. The pistol's just like not that good for hunters anymore, so it sort of makes it useless as in a main weapon. Alright, I like going to old graphics for this because I'm going to see the trees better, even though I think you'd be able to still jump on this, but it's a bit more complicated on the new graphics. Alright, so this is going to be an all-out war right now with Jekylls. Alright, it's one. I didn't lose too much shield though, which was pretty good. Oh god, did I get stuck? No. You wanna play that game? Oh god, so I think I stuck him. Someone jumped off. Wait, the Femin scale, what does that do? I forgot there was a scale up here. Hopefully that didn't activate anything though, because that'd sort of suck. Alright, I'm going to consider jumping on the back of this and maybe... Right, that, that, that's not going to work. They're going to just EMP me probably, most likely. And... Alright, so now I can pick up the rocket launcher and all its bullets. It's going to help me a lot through maybe killing the hunters at that certain part and... I wonder how many rockets it takes to kill a hunter. I'm hoping it's one because that makes sense. So a rocket launcher should really kill anything in one shot. It's meant to be a rocket launcher. Makes sense. So I've got my last marines, I believe, here. So I believe there's just hunters that are going to be at this part now. And then when you go down, there's going to be a bunch of covens and stuff. And there's another two hunters at another part. I hate that. I just hate the splatter doesn't kill them instantly. Does 
doesn't make sense. It feels like they're like, I don't know, bouncy something. Look. I was gonna say, their rocket launcher didn't kill him instantly. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna. I need the rocket launch for the hunters. They're very overpowered in this. Pistol's pretty worthless now, like, the only good thing it's good for is grunt headshotting things, like, other than, like, shield flood it's useless against, and the hunters are, it's pretty useless now. God knows how many shots, it takes two for sniper, which is pretty cool, but it still takes, like, so much now for the, um, damage for it to do, like, with, forgot what I was talking about. Right, pistol and hunters. This place is in the arc, I'm pretty sure, like on Halo 3. I remember this, it's like... I'm 100% they use this place in, on the mission, the arc on Halo 3. Alright, I'm gonna go to old graphics because I'm probably more familiar. Oh god. That was lucky. Who just threw that? I really want to kill whoever did that. Surprise. That rocket launcher. God. Ah, oh, there you are. So there's still something alive. I don't know what. But I guess we'll find out. Alright, so there is a mid pack here, but I might use it later. Because we have to come back up this way anyway. I might need it later. Oh, that would, that would have killed me 100%. Far, that hit. Alright, so that's the hunters down, but I don't know if I should go get the mid pack now or later. jump down here and just go straight for the <clears throat> the button that I've got to press, I believe. There's a 
We'll be in a tight spot if we don't get out of here before additional reinforcements arrive. I'm hoping I can kill a, a bunch of stuff while being invisible. Alright, that was <clears throat> that was sort of freaky with the uh, grenade there. So I'm pretty sure I have to go down here somewhere. Can't remember that if anything comes down from there, man. like invisible. Because I mean, I've just jumped straight into this, and Ru Ruby's rebalance could sort of add things. So definitely, like, sort of taken some stuff out of two betrayals and added stuff. It's still not easy. Two betrayals is by far the hardest Halo One mission. The library is like a lot easier than two betrayals, but a lot of people say the library is hard. It's hard if you're running in all the time, like sort of being aggressive, but if you stay back and just kill everything in the library, like just sort of every every area sort of got like four to five waves of flood. If you just keep killing them all, there's only one part that there's there's an unlimited um spawn which is the carrier forms behind you at, at near the end. They will keep coming if you walk away from the area, they just keep spawning there until you get a certain checkpoint and then they will stop. They just shoot their guns so fast, the players with pistols. They can either jump off or they can die with that grenade. Or that jackal can rush me and kill me. Could work too. <laughs> I don't know what it was trying to do there. I think it tried to kill itself full damage before it could actually blow up. It didn't want to feel the pain. The only painful thing I could do is maybe like try and walk sideways right right now and fall off. Oh god, there's those jackals and they just got me in a corner in it right now, but it's only ever bad when I open up that door, but that one just got me so cornered, the one up there. I'm gonna use all these jackals EMPs to take down these jackals, I think. into the other side which has elites and grunts up there. Rip. Alright, does this take me to the elites?
believe it does, and that means they're gonna come around the corner. Oh god. Not good. I need that mid pack now, but sort of gotta go a little bit further. Thank good. Not a bad situation. <laughs> if I kill that elite, the big leader. Should have a big chance. Oh god. Got the right idea. But uh running back at me. I don't know if I killed both, I didn't exactly look at my score there when it um killed him. Smart here. I'm hoping I don't have to verse more uh, hunters at this point because that'd sort of suck. Pretty sure you don't, but as I've said, models can add things in where they're normally not meant to be. Yo, that jackal doing that gave me the headshot there. It's pretty cool. The grenade could uh, get me killed pretty fast. The good thing is I've got a pistol for invisible elites and I've got a player's a pistol as well for them for when they do start fighting. Uh. I'm so happy that it didn't hit the top of the roof. I don't think it did. Oh god. I, was, I, I wasn't sure because like something like hit the floor there. It was like the spark from the grenade or something. Oh god. That should kill that jackal there, but I still see something else in this room, and I could be regretting this right now, me running into this elite, but I feel like I've got a chance there. Alright, so I need that. I sort of want a rocket launcher. I don't know if the uh, yellow elite and stuff 
is one plasma pistol charge or two. That was awesome that he was, only one. And I could hit shot him straight away. So now we can't do this part. I'm probably going to go back to new graphics because new graphics on Halo 1 is easier to see than mainly because the gun flashes, where in old graphics it does, they're so hard to see. Oh god. Did that one just come up behind me by any chance? I was spamming your pistol's a good tactic. Alright, I'm gonna try to stick one there, and that should kill a group of them. Hopefully a chain reaction comes along. I think I stuck another one. And I killed two of them. I've only seen two there, but there could be more. Which there is. Which I'll stick that one too. I'm a bit wary where they there could be more, but I think that's it. Let's get moving. You can like jump Go in ahead. the pelican and jump Zero back out and then um like Master Chief will be standing down by where the Pelican is and the Pelican will literally leave without him. It's pretty funny. The Covenant did a thorough seismic scan. And uh thank you all for watching. <clears throat> and I'll see you all in the next video.